now that you're feeling better about all of that, mm -hmm. we should do some official hypnosis. Okay. One of the things I've noticed is that your hands have gotten so very relaxed, they don't want to move, do they? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you could try to move them, but it's just too much trouble. They're trying to lift up a hand, lift up the other hand. It's like, it feels so good down here. <laughs> I'm too relaxed. Yeah. They are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You tried to move them. Yeah. Oh, well. They'll, they'll move again later. There you go. <laughs> they know how. Yeah. They just were having a good time hanging out down there. Mm -hmm. Now, when your hands moved and you didn't know they were going to move just then, did you? That was an unconscious movement. Your other mind saying, Haley, I'm teaching you about how I am and how I work and how I function. Mm -hmm which is going to allow you to be way more powerful in sales and in other situations too. And would you like to get a little more comfortable? We can do some um, tuxedo hypnosis. Sure. Well, Dave Dobson, one of my teachers, used to talk about tuxedo as a formal hypnosis. He'd call it tuxedo because it was formal. Okay. And that's where we, we uh, <clears throat> do the official ritual where we talk about taking a walk on the beach or this kind of thing. So, and your toes are getting more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's infectious. It's spreading up into the ankles and the calves of your legs going, I want some too. <laughs> okay, let that relax. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I didn't know there was tension there. And it's going to sneak up to the knees, you know. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, all of your legs are going to be really relaxed. And it's going to move up into the hips and, you know, and that kind of thing. So it being all that relaxed. And you don't have to think about them relaxing to no. have them be relaxed, do you? No. You could pay attention now and go, oh, it is relaxed. And gosh, if you pay attention to your tummy muscles, well, they're relaxed. Mm -hmm. oh, the chest and you know, all those muscles in the back. Even the shoulder muscles are starting to melt a little bit, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And it's going all the way down the arms. I bet those relaxed feelings are going to start dripping off the tips of your fingers, just like when you're taking a warm shower, the water drips off. Of course, relaxation is kind of contagious. It'll spread up into the neck. And the more you smile, the more you'll relax. The more you relax, the better you feel. And when you feel good, you want to smile. Mm -hmm. You really do. And then it's going to sneak up to the very base of the skull and kind of loosen all those little muscles there under the scalp. And the eyes at some point are going to start blinking even more slowly than that. And you're going to try and fight <laughs> the closing of the eyes because you want to pay attention. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. You want to know everything. And you think if you get it all consciously, you'll have it all. But your other mind knows there's so many other things going on right now that are so important. <laughs> that's right. And whether you close your eyes, there you go, that's fine. And you, you can pay attention, you're breathing out, breathing in. And there's something else that your unconscious mind knows is vital for you to change and let those changes begin in the ways that are just right for you. The other mind is making all those adjustments to what you do and think and feel so that you're more of a delight for yourself and others. And you can forget about how wonderful it is for people who are around you to enjoy your happiness. You'll just find that people seem to be brighter and more cheerful for no good reason. And there is those good feelings again starting to creep in. That's the ones. And the more you smile, the more good you'll feel. And the gooder you feel, the more you feel like smiling will take you deeper into that place of transformation from which your inner mind can make those changes in the ways that are just right for you. 
to be more of the person that you want to be, that you are becoming, that you will be. And you might wonder about deserving this, but that thought's so slippery, it's just going to fall right out of the mind every time you try and think about it. And who knows, might even be a giggle attached to it. If I deserve... <laughs> Do I really deserve <laughs> this happy? Now, in a few moments, I'm going to reach over and touch your right hand. And that's going to be your signal to come back to Earth Coincidence Control Center, taking as much time as you need to assimilate all the benefits and integrate all the learnings and the new choices and behaviors that you've made for yourself. And when you've done that, then your eyes will flutter open and you'll look at me. And your inner mind knows what that means. When I touch the right hand is, you know, come all the way back. And your, and your inner mind knows what, what that means about the hand which is left. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, that's probably a little different. Yeah. So how how was that? It was good. Hmm. It was good. Okay. I didn't feel like I was here. <laughs> ah, where were you? I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay. That's kind of cool. Mhm. Mm so did you have any questions? No. Okay, I've got one for you though. Okay. Okay. What about that hand which is left? Mhm. Mm about it. That's right. That's exactly right. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Now, in case our audience didn't notice that, there were some pretty, there were, as your hand was relaxing, there were some unconscious little movements there. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't it nice to know that you can be in hypnosis with your eyes open? Mm -hmm. And that you can take advantage of all all the possibilities of being so focused and so fully present and having all these good feelings that go with being in hypnosis. Wow, what would happen if you took that into a sales situation? Ooh, what would happen if you took it into that time you spend with your special someone? Mm hmm. Hmm. What would happen if you took these good feelings in the places where things are more difficult? and started with these feelings and then began responding from that deepest inner wisdom and capabilities. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can put your finger on some of that. <laughs> now, come on back, Haley. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so you've got some confidence now mm -hmm. that you're going to take with you. Mm -hmm. And you are stronger. You are a woman, here you <laughs> roar. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, I bet there's a time and place where you could take that, mm -hmm. that you believe that may be not so easy, mm -hmm. but you still can. Yeah. Let that awareness begin to sink in. Mm -hmm. And when you start putting those good feelings in that thought, it starts to change, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So you were not so sure. Hmm. <laughs> so. When you look ahead into life, your life, this thing's opening, uh, opening up in front of you. How's it seem now? Good. All right, we should probably finish up. Okay. So, yes, since um, Dr. Anderson and I um, last had our session, a lot of things have changed. I've gotten a lot more confident. And last month, I was actually the top producer for my division, which was really great. So I got a big award. And so I think a lot of things have, have been positive out of this. So what was, what was it like um, when we did the session? What was that like for you? It was very relaxing. And I think I left here already feeling better. And, you know, just having the experience, I've never been hypnotized before, but it was, it was really great to just kind of relax and think about me and what I needed to do to get more confident. Well, you laughed a lot. I did, I did laugh a lot. You made me um, laugh in the face of um, adversity and laugh in the face of, re um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
I uh, can't even <laughs> say it. That's why I don't even think about it. Rejection. There you go. I don't even think about it anymore. I just laugh at it.